All right. In this example, um, in this example, what we're basically going to do is again we need to go ahead and go ahead and graph this again. Now, if you remember our base is e. Now, remember e did not represent actually a variable. E represented our number, which was approximately 2.71. So again, you see e though e is larger than one. So therefore, it's going to create a growth function. It's going to look something like that. It's approximately 2.71. And I said that on the first day that we did instruction and we introduced E. OK, so E is between 2 and 3. And again, guys, the, the base just tells you how fast the graph is basically transforming. We looked at 3. When we have a number up top, that is also going to be affecting the stretch. That's another way for us to be able to kind of stretch the graph. So that's going to affect kind of uh, the graph there. But another thing you guys can see is we now have a negative on the outside and a negative on the inside. So remember, when we have a negative about on the outside of the function, that's reflecting about the y-axis. I'm sorry, x-axis. So now my point's going to be down here, right? And then, not only that, but now this negative reflects it about the y-axis. So now this graph is going to look something like this. And then that's your final answer. That's it? Mm -hmm. Do you guys see that? So it has like a double. Now you could say there's a horizontal translation of 3, but that just really kind of affects like the curvature of the graph. Um, and